hello everybody and welcome to the super neat podcast the only podcast on the internet sorry for the late start my webcam decided he she or it wanted to work for somebody else today you work for me loki tech uh what up guys this is the 10th episode of the podcast ever isn't that wild how's it sound how's it look how's it sound as always the podcast is brought to you by aha sparkling water what's your aha moment wait flavor to invigorate your vibe it's a different it's a different one on this uh flavor we're rocking orange and grapefruit it's 705 p.m est 47 percent room humidity and 69 degrees fahrenheit at the super neat studio i got a kick light today that is going ham we're gonna turn it down a little bit There we go. It's a little better. I bought a really cool Lasco fan to put on my bed uh, because our building has turned on the heat and yet it's still pretty warm outside. And so that is that thing over there by my head. It, y is it ugly? Yes. Is it effective? You better believe it. Yeah, that phasmophobia. Oh, guys, phasmophobia is a big, big deal. This channel is going to maybe exclusively become a hive, hive content, hive the board game slash steam game and phasmophobia because they are just tremendous. Um, so guys, I'm a little distracted because there is the the uh mother flipping dream hack finals going on and i was been keeping up pretty closely and then i had to take a shower and now they're still playing it's 7 15 vitality is losing and it looks like heroic's gonna take it home and temporarily this may just be a uh, hunter i hardly know her hiver Wow. Um, it should say talk show and podcast now. Yeah, so we may be like kind of checking in every once in a while with the with the game because I want to know. I'm pretty invested. I should probably just pause it and wait and then. But that's too smart for the super neat podcast. Um, those of you in the chat, please feel free to join me. We're going to do a free-for-all open Q&A today because it's our 10th anniversary of the podcast. 10 weeks. Can you believe it? I literally cannot. I've never done anything for 10 weeks. I never brushed my teeth for 10 weeks in a row. Pretty cool stuff. So we're going to blast through the news. And then we're just going to open up the uh, Super Neat Discord. I'm going to have uh, up to two of you guys in here at a time, and we're just going to feel it out. It's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. And as we go through this, we're going to just kind of check in on the DreamHack a little bit here and there, just to see what's going on, but not too much, not enough to be distracted. You know, we're going to take it seriously. It's a podcast; got to do it every week, even though there's really cool things happening on the same internet domain all right oh my god that's why you guys keep saying ghost hunter podcast boom we're in it we are in it all right let's just jump right into it being 710 48 percent room humidity 69 degrees fahrenheit and the only podcast on the internet super neat brought to you by aha sparkling water flavor to invigorate your vibe Let's jump right in. Huh? Huh? 
Let's check out what Google News has to offer. Boom. All right. Oh, man, I already forgot. Feels like we just did this podcast last week. Feels like just yesterday. And every time I go to the news, I don't know why. I'm always shocked that it's something I don't really want to know about. Show Bob. Thank you, E. Nasty, for joining the podcast. (laughs) I might show Bob. We'll see, actually, because the level of content I have planned for today, being our 10th anniversary, is low. All right. Health experts raise concerns about Pence events after AIDS test positive for COVID. AIDS now has COVID. Super AIDS. COVID plus. My God. We're doomed. Um, Pence events. That sounds like that should be its own show. Pence events. If Pence wasn't just such a terrible person, that would be really fun. Pence events. Uh, I don't know what that means. There's too many words in that headline for me. I ran for an hour today. It's a big win for me. But also that means cognitively that took everything out of me. I'm barely barely here on this mortal plane. Conservative New Hampshire paper backs Biden for its first Democratic endorsement in (laughs) in 100 years. Way to go, conservative New Hampshire paper, I guess. Good for you. Or maybe, how dare you? What about your base? They don't even say the name of the conservative New Hampshire paper because no one reads it. Senate votes to limit debate on Barrett Supreme Court and remove final vote on Monday. Oh. Why is our country so depressing? God, I'm not doing much of these guys. We're just going to blast through it. We're going to get to the Q&A because this is... Pre-election voting surpasses all 2016 early ballots cast. Wow. That's actually great news. That is really great news. Good for you, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But I'm pretty sure it is. We got seven viewers on the Super Neat Podcast, the only podcast on the internet. Way to go. Thanks, guys. It is our 10th anniversary, so think about that. Think about that. Hmm. Good at get out there and vote. Do it. That's what people say. Be real with you. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vote. I'm gonna try, but I think I fucked it up. Uh, Bryce. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's no longer okay. Uh oh. What? What? That's what people are saying. I imagine. I'm sorry. I don't know. Listen, I got other stuff going on. Plus, I hate all this. Okay, let's just go to For You. Century reveals RAID 0 M.2 NVMe Thunderbolt 3 external exclosure. I was really expecting that word to be enclosure. Exclosure seems like not a thing, but... Uh, That's pretty cool, I guess. That's just going to be a super expensive uh, exclosure. And I don't know what you're doing that requires that much data transfer speeds. That everything has to be M.2. But I'm glad you, people are doing it. I'd like just some spinning hard drives. Be honest, some more. Adele Monologue, SNL. That's news, people. That's a top story. Adele does a monologue. <laughs> don't really care. NVIDIA warns, <laughs> Why, how have I become this cynical? Oh, good for you, Adele. No, I can't even fake it. Shut up, who cares? NVIDIA warns gamers of severe GeForce experience loss. NVIDIA's warning us of their flaws. Good for you, but also shame on you. You made these flaws, and yet you warn us. Interesting strategy, Cotton. Let's see if that pays off. Google Home finally gets Alexa feature I've been waiting ages for. What is that feature? We have a little picture of an icon of a little location thing um, on a house. But CNET, is CNET going to tell us? 
even though they clearly have the text length, as we know by from these super long titles. No, because they're trash. I'm not clicking. I'm not falling for your clickbait trash. Google Home finally gets the Alexa feature. Google Home finally gets blank features, what they could have said. Gets a feature. Shut up. <sighs> More stuff. More stuff. More stuff. Washington officials destroy first mor murder hornet nest. Yeah, nuke them. Send the drones. We forgot about murder hornets, didn't we? They didn't forget about us. They've been waiting. Who won? Correct. Congratulations to Heroic. Oh, I wish I could have seen the final thing, but Heroic won. Way to go, guys. Super AIDS. <laughs> YouTube equals news. The news is such trash, guys. I YouTube is partially to blame. That clickbait stuff really did originate in YouTube, I believe. I feel like news articles weren't like this. But then again... I was also an infant child. Maybe news articles have always been like this. And I just grew up on YouTube. Pope names new cardinals putting his stamp on church's future. Cool. Oil pankers surrounded after reports of attempted hijacking off the coast of England. Hmm. People still doing that, huh? Didn't everyone watch Captain Phillips? All those guys died. That was... Captain Phillips was like, whoa, kind of a fun adventure movie. And, and you're like, oh, based on a true story. And then at the end, spoiler alert, they just kill all those guys? Seems kind of fucked. Yeah, don't you dare try to hijack a tanker. We will kill you with no due process, mother effers. All right, we're going to do like two more of these. Let's check out New York local news. The ultimate who cares. A behind the scenes at how NYC sanctions filming stunts. <laughs> that might be interesting, actually. Our new battle plan on the COVID war front, Governor Cuomo lays out New York strategy to beat the virus. That's right, Cuomo. Cuomo's is going to do it single-handedly with his little scarf here. He's going to defeat the virus. Not manage. Defeat. Geez, that's the attitude that the founders of Combustinol need. We're tired of managing our symptoms. We want to defeat Combustinol. Combusting. Busting CBD. We don't want to defeat Combustinol. Or maybe we do. Maybe, maybe big the big busting lobby is making us take Combustinol so that we have to keep buying it when they could actually cure CBD. We're going to go into that later. We're going to enter into the conspiracy circle. I'm stealing that from... The Hanksy Panksy podcast. They have the conspiracy corner. We might be doing that. Maybe it's big busting. What's the what's the lobby for people coming all the time? Big cum. Homes that sold for around 1.5 million. Peer, end of that's it. That's the whole title. But from the New York Times, these are just homes that sold for that much. It's just a list. 22 Baker Street. 1.5 million. News. Check it off. Good work, interns. Good work in in way times interns knocking out a quality near BuzzFeed level. If only they had done it in all caps and said, you won't believe that these homes that sold for 1.5 million. That's the thing that separates the New York Times. And that's why they'll never be as good a journalist as BuzzFeed.com. College students killed by stray bullet on dream trip to NYC. Ugh. You hate to see that. Stray bullet? Any of us can go at any time, guys. A stray bullet? Fuck. He wasn't even doing anything, I imagine. <sighs> we're gonna do We're gonna do one business and we're gonna do one technology. And we're going to do one entertainment. And then we are really done. Big bust. <laughs> it's a big bust lobby, man. Blah, 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 blah. 
Israeli COVID-19 vaccine to begin human trials next week. Eek. I hope they go well. This makes total sense that it wouldn't be COVID that kills us. It would be the vaccine. It makes like total sense in the grand scheme of this is a dimension, like this is a parallel universe that got the shit into the stick where Trump won, remember? That's like the conspiracy theory years ago. And then everything bad happens to our little universe. This is where the COVID-19 turns everyone to zombies or something. Or maybe something more original. I wonder how many variations on the... Oh, yeah. What was that movie? Shout out to chat. What's the movie Children of Men or something where no one can have babies? What I'm talking about? And there's like one baby. That's like what the COVID thing does. Man, that movie was sick. Whatever it was. Holy shit. Technology. iPhone 12 MagSafe. Uh, who cares? Wireless charging doesn't seem that super interesting to me anymore. It seems slightly more convenient. Prove me wrong. Convince me. I'm willing to take on this fight. I would love to know. I used to have a little wireless charger on my desk. I used to just put my phone on it. It was very convenient. And now I don't. And I never once have been like, damn, I miss that. Because you had to put it so gingerly on the platform anyway that you might as well just plug it in and it charges way slower. I can just plug it in for like a minute and I'm good. Interesting. This podcast is really going somewhere. (laughs) Garmin smartwatches are on sale at an all-time low price. Cool. Entertainment. Comedian Fortune Feimster. Feimster. Wed's fiance Jacqueline Smith in Malibu over five years of dating. I don't give a sh poop. I, I guess that's entertainment news for you. Some people got married. People you don't know got married. That's the news. Mm, the village people give Trump a musical cease and desist. They're still alive. The macho, macho men. Macho, macho. Isn't that right? Why? Good for you guys. I thought for sure you guys would be six feet under. 50 Cent reacts to, retracts Donald Trump endorsement. It's because 50 Cent doesn't know what town he's in. He's out to lunch. Sports, a.k.a. scroll. Science. I said we were going to be done, but I didn't know we had a science category. Do camels really have water in their humps? Come on, scroll to the bottom, yes or no. Oh, it's a short one. No. I refuse. We're never going to know. We will never know if camels... Children of the Corn is what the movie's called. Sweet. I know for a fact it was not called that. Asshole. (laughs) Oh, and we're down to four viewers. We <laughs> we had seven, and now we're at four. What a lonely <laughs> <clears throat> podcast. 10th anniversary it is, but maybe they'll come back. DreamHack is over. Congratulations, Heroic. Boom. All right, we're done with the news. Numbers continue to climb as cold weather settles in. Guys, you remember that? It does better in cold weather. I forgot about that until recently. Remember when Trump was like, dude, it's going to go away in the summer like a miracle. It didn't do that. And the cold weather is supposed to bring it. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to survive longer in cold weather. Is that right? Interesting. I guess. Who knows? Who knows? Let's check the podcast notes. Let's see what's happening. Oh, yeah. So, as far as the podcast goes, one, still waiting on the super neat t-shirts. My guy has not gotten back to me. They should be coming 
I will send him the money as soon as he tells me how much I want to do it. So that's happening. Um, I got a frag video coming out. We'll see how that goes. And I got another video coming out. That should happen soon. Hopefully tomorrow. Go okay, guys. So... As far as the podcast goes, I was going to try and break it up into a million little segments. I tried it once. Um, but that makes it even more scattered than it al- already is. So I was thinking, why don't we just do the Passion of the Christ is what it's called. Yes, after Jesus was crucified, no one could have babies anymore. That's the movie I was thinking of. And so in my notes, I had this podcast thing where it was going to be like 10 segments, each like very short. But I I don't know. I feel like that's just too much going on. Could be wrong. Oh, there was a, I have to, I forgot on the notes. There's an uh-oh correction from last week. Um, we do actually know what scientists are. There are criteria. Shout out to uh, Seaway Kid for correcting us. That was our uh oh of the week. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking we just dive into. We'll do some news. The news stuff is interesting to me purely because it's exclusively where I get all of my news for the week. I do it live with you guys. I don't ever check the news, and I don't really care to. Um, so it's good for me. This is how I stay informed, unless it's like tech news that I'm actually pretty on top of. And then other than that, I think we should just pick one topic for the week and just go ham together. We can just go in it and learn about something. What do you guys think of that? Thank goodness he addressed the scientist. <laughs> Turns out. scientists there are in fact there's some structure to being a scientist who knew i don't think anyone knew until i addressed it on the podcast so what should uh, the theme of the 10th super neat podcast be it's 7 27 p.m 48 percent room humidity 69 degrees fahrenheit nice the super neat headquarters I don't know. We're going to hop in the Discord and we're going to see what's going on. Our new battle plan on the COVID war front, Governor Cuomo lays out his strategy to defeat the virus. Interesting. Microclusters is a word that I read. Here we go. We're in the disco. Streamer mode is enabled. Okay. You anyone may join. You don't have to. But you may. And we're gonna throw it. Right here, live. Okay, so while that's booting up, we can go and check out this sweet piece of journalism. 25 celebs we totally forgot were married. That's a photo of these people. Is that the guy from Office Space? Who is that guy? This is why we forgot they were married. No one cares. Look at this. This is the Daily News. Who owns Daily News? Who owns all of the news? I don't know. Let's look that up. How many independent news sources are there
10. Done. We got it, guys. <laughs> Let's check this out real quick. I'm interested in this briefly. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo holds a facial mask during a news conference in Manhattan. Does he? Well, politics rages. Interesting. The economy suffers and nerves fray. The COVID virus progresses. That is a hook. That's how you do it. Beautiful. Politics rages. You think it'd be politics rage. It sounds better that way, but I'm guessing they know what they're doing here at Daily News. The economy suffers nerves fray. The COVID virus progresses. COVID is deeply entrenched within the American home, lurking around every corner. The virus was allowed to migrate from China into our airports. Oh, what shit. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, we were doing uh, some propaganda here. What up? Oh, no, old yeah, Custer. You know, same old, same old. <laughs> um, how you doing, man? I'm doing well. Uh, I'm, I'm so proud of you for getting number 10 in there, buddy. You deserve all the recognition that you get. <laughs> That's uh, Thanks, I've been getting a lot. Uh, I earned it with by just showing up. And that's about as much yes. as much as I've put into it. Um, Fuck yeah! But here we are. What do you uh, What do you want to see on the in the next series of the podcast? The next uh, uh, season. I want to see um, more uh, content on the successes and failures of Combustion All as a as a company. <laughs> I've gotten uh, some reviews. It's like, yeah, so for, you know, uh, the, the ones of us out there that are struggling with CBB and the, the travesty that it is um, having that life, uh, we'd like to know what people are experiencing. <laughs> there are dozens of us. Dozens. <laughs> I've got some reviews. I would spit them out on the podcast right now, but I want to do... <laughs> I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna make some content uh, this week. You have the super yes. neat guarantee that you will get a combustion all follow up. That's what we need uh, on the Patreon. I'm gonna start. Oh man, I should talk. You'd be the perfect person to talk about this. I have been posting on the Patreon fairly, fairly consistently. I have not been posting to YouTube except these podcasts, and I kind of forgot. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes being in there like swimwear and so i apologize to all the uh super neat youtubers out there that aren't paying uh because i've just been basically i'm just make i, I just make content for like tw 12 people now <laughs> like yes. 13 people the the little community that we've got it's pretty great in there i'll be honest combust and all follow up and so a lot of people don't know that there's a combust and all commercial that's floating around it's not yeah. you have to pay to know you gotta get in there and uh see the content that is so you know avariciously sought after it's a premium <laughs> product <laughs> okay you have the super neat guarantee there will be combustion all content this week that's so exciting and to double down i'll put some i'll put a piece of content on this super neat youtube Ooh. that's not the podcast Perfect. yeah i want to see um your gospel so like i imagine this is going to come out to you know run the same way as kanye's career did you know it's going to start out making dope ass beats or whatever but eventually we're going to be getting the church going the super neat church, church is super neat one two three four five and we'll have like all kinds of little things yes it's, google is basically the the mouthpiece of the lord E that's Jesus. where the news comes from, and that's where we that's where we worship. We bind ourselves within the constructs that is Google News. <laughs> Google News is really the only thing propping this excuse of a podcast up. <laughs> <laughs> it's messy. That'll be 
that'll be our sermon is that the podcast <laughs> is what <laughs> just read google news <laughs> yeah we just come in um yeah google news is hard to beat man that's the problem is i can come up with my content for days but all i have to do is click google news and it's there and they've got it already did it for you pretty good i wonder how different yours is from the rest of the the subscribers and everything the the patreons because like you know their their news might be about whatever shit they're interested it could be like wood carving or whatever because k chap is very avid carpenter He, he wants to be like jesus christ Oh, so I grows the beard. Yeah. Oh wow. And so, uh, yeah. Speaking of the Passion of the Christ, is the movie that you were trying. Oh, to you got yeah. That's thanks, thanks, chat yeah. for uh, helping me out with that. Passion of the Christ, everyone, go see it. That's the one. You Mel Gibson about. did it, I think. Mm-hmm. He starred in it too. He's Jesus. He's, yeah, he's uh, he's the chosen <laughs> one. <laughs> it's That's a what documentary. They said all that stuff to that that uh, valet guy. He's yeah. I'm pretty sure he's a piece of shit. If I remember wife. correctly, yeah. yeah, I think he's like an anti-Semite. Yeah, I think he said the N word. I can't remember. Oh no! Do you guys remember Apocalypto? Oh, that movie no. was dope. Of course not. It was the one they don't speak any English. They don't even say. There's only they only say like one word. Oh, it's like uh, pussy. It's, they say pussy. No, <laughs> they go <laughs> pussy. Hey, pussy. No, it's the pussy. one where the aztec indians are running around can i call them that they're not i guess they're native americans but they're in like mexico yeah it's still america right native mexicans native north americans i know it's great movie great flick see it or don't i don't know it doesn't matter it's all up to you you do it every life (laughs) i don't know like are we supposed to not watch mel gibson stuff because he's a piece of shit like are we not supposed to watch all this shit weinstein made forever ago i think i think it's okay if you uh you can't make him into a hero like you can't but like you can't make it to where he's the victorious party or whatever from it like you don't what about braveheart because of yeah like it's all cool it's all previously generated as vetted through other companies and things like that Except for The Passion of the Christ. Uh, Mel Gibson funded that one himself, personally. So that's a pretty curious endeavor. I never saw it, to be honest. Yeah. I, but I, uh, and I didn't read the book. <laughs> Not genius. Uh, but uh, I know what happened, so I think I get mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think the Patreon people, uh, this is speaking on, on a personal uh testament is we want more of your games and things like that trick you into playing uh lots of video games online i i am enjoying it i the, i got a the frag video I'm, I'm working on i put out two kind of game videos on patreon i think i'm gonna try and make more of that and i think um i don't want to get ahead of myself but i'd like to do a, set up a streaming schedule oh god that would be the dream. Be pretty huge, dude. That oh would be my big. God. I'd, be, I'd be chuzzling all over. I'd, my combustion all prescription wouldn't be able to fulfill <laughs> yes. anymore. No, I think actually, I always had a brain blast. I think there may be a piece of investigative journalism that goes deep into big cum to see if it's big, a- big cum. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. No, big cum was actually pushing down the media not too long ago. I remember seeing that. Uh, the one of my buddies uh, in the group had uh, his prescription taken from him because uh, the doctor that was prescribing it to him was too afraid of what the scathing articles have been coming about. Was about it? The, it was an alternative to combustinol. No, no, it's combustinol itself. But they're the media is pushing this message that's like making it to where that you can't even get it because they're, they're too scared to prescribe it in the office, in the doctor's office. This is the problem. This is the corruption that needs to be addressed with real, hard-hitting, super neat journalism. Yeah, Big Cum wants us to be able to <laughs> keep buying diapers. They don't want us to have a prescription. You know, they want us to be filling up and overflowing. They want us to have to get the wipes, the baby wipes, and, and you know, making sure that we're clean all the time. Big Cum, we can't. We Big Cum won't stop us. We're taking you down, Big Cum. 
they come, the, the fight comes to you. We're no, coming. I mean, it nuts, it nuts to you. <laughs> <laughs> we're coming. We're, uh, we're coming for you, big cum. Oh this is what yeah, I'm talking about. We are canceling about. the apocalypse. <laughs> we're done. We're done. We're with taking you. the fight to come. <laughs> My notes this week are on fire. We've got, I've got so much to do. <laughs> I've got so much to do. Okay. Boom. So, we're going to make a combust and all follow up with some reviews. We're going to put some stuff on Super Neat YouTube. We're going to explore stream schedule. There's also something that I want to talk to you about. This is, a, this is an idea. This is for sketching. Um, Right now, I'm seeing a lot of content coming from like huge AAA, like whatever, like fucking, uh, what's the what's the people called the CW or whatever? They're putting out the reunion tours of people, but it's all the Zoom meetings, right? So there was a Parks and Rec that came out, and they were like, okay, everybody's just shooting from their fucking, uh, you know, bedroom or whatever with their webcams. That's what you need. You need to play into that hardcore now because it's we're about to move out of that. We're gonna have people showing up. Oh, you could, everyone like even high end production is just dudes with webcams. You're right. I'm gonna start. I already have an idea. That's genius. Yeah. I'm just gonna start yeah. showing up in those things. Yes. All of a sudden, <laughs> the webcam takes over. <laughs> That's genius. I was thinking just the other day that you, me, and the Park and Rex crew should have been in the same movie together. <laughs> just trick them in. There. <laughs> Hold on. I'm writing this down. Into. This is just be, this super neat podcast has just become a brainstorm session. Yeah, this is how we this Sorry. is how I come up with uh, fucking big baller ideas. Honestly, that may be the direction that the podcast needs to go into. This it just needs to be a brainstorm. Oh my god! If you could actually pump out videos from this creative like from shit this... storm right here and just get it. Oh I, man, there needs to be. I've been given a lot of feedback on the podcast. People say we need yeah. consistency, and. uh brainstorming that i can do i'm pretty consistent with that so it could just be google news and brainstorming as far as i'm concerned Wait, the bts shoots itself because you'll have a week to make the content from the creation this is gonna be great this is gonna be great. i have one week yeah and then we follow up from next week start to finish Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Zoom. hold on i gotta write this down before it leaves you need to trick a little weller into standing behind you like when you go to take a bathroom break and things like that. We want to see that. We want to see everything. We want to see you in the bathroom relieving yourself. <laughs> we want to be able to... That's all in the OnlyFans. Yeah, and when you put the potato in the microwave to eat, because that's all you can afford, like that's what we want to see. We want to know <laughs> what it's like. I can... Um, back in the old super neat streams i used to do cooking videos I, i've considered doing some cooking videos but the problem is i don't <gasps> particularly know how to cook okay we'll learn together i kind of make this it up huge okay this we'll, is huge put it on the thing <laughs> now i enjoyed when you cooked the steak i learned uh a new technique that folks actually just salt that fucker and that's it just both sides you're done Dude, it's premium. It's genius. I'm a I'm a huge fan of that, of that method. I think it's superior, but uh, you know, to each their own. I guess that's just what people say. Uh, Fuck other people's somebody ideas. Somebody fucking ordered a steak from. Uh, we went to go get some kind of fucking. It's like a hipster joint, and uh, they ordered a steak. And I, you know, I got like a fucking pizza or whatever the fuck. And the steak, they're like, I want a medium or whatever. You know, a pink in there. It came back like charcoal. It's like they had fucking put it on the sun and brought it back. It was like all the way through. It's like a burger. Like, why did you do this? How could you trick me in this way? <laughs> Where the hell were you? Uh, it was Brick and Forge here in Conway. They, they took over Old Chicago. What, Old Chicago's gone? Yeah. Yes. It's a different place now. It's something else. It's exactly the same as it were. Even the food's basically the same. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Big F in chat for, for Real Chicago. Damn, man. That's they didn't even thing. change the bar. Like, they have all the heads and all the, uh, what do you call that fucking, it's on the taps. taps. It's all the same. <laughs> like, they don't, they didn't even fucking try. <laughs> Hell yeah. 
Just take I'm pretty it sure the it's side. the same trucks delivering the same fucking pizza. <laughs> ingredients out the back. They just <laughs> took of, it over. Bunch of frozen pizzas. There you go. Fuck. Rest in peace, Chicago. That's what happens. Yeah. That's what's yeah. funding the city. Yeah. Enough of those is, crumble. Uh, just tricking people into buying food that they think is going to be good, but it's actually just average. <laughs> they tricked. They fucking tricked that person. They they were cool with it because they had a bunch of beers. I think that's their their challenge. Is they wait a little while to give you your food so you can get fucked. You don't have to remember what you actually ordered. <laughs> and so uh, I looked at that thing. I looked at that fucking white steak on the inside. It looked like it was pork by the end of it. And uh, I, I figured that's probably what this place is like. It looks good on the outside. Then the inside is just but it's shit. Cooked as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's business baby get them He's liquored eight. up <laughs> get them liquored up and they won't notice yeah no problem that's a good strategy I'll put that in my yeah. notes see if I can't liquor up my audience that's what I really yes, trick them that's what that's what it is a challenge a super neat podcast uh, challenge the one two three four five is how many drinks you're supposed to have before <laughs> the uh, podcast is over trick them Trick them. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Uh, yeah, I like this. This may be a, this this may be the best idea yet. We'll yeah. just go. We'll come in here. We'll do a recap of what we did last week. We'll do some brainstorming. Read some Google News. Goose. Call it a day. Goose, the Google News combined into one word. Goose, yes, the rebrand. I'll put it. Goose, put it in there. I'll write it. Goose, alt. Goose, Google News. I don't know why I'm writing that now, but alt seems worth it. There we go. I figured out how to do trademark as text in Windows, oh. and it has it's helped me extend. <laughs> how did you do my that? abilities? Uh, so Alt zero one five three. He'll just toss a T M on whatever the f- you can put anything. It doesn't matter if it's fucking trademarked or not, bro. It'll let you do it. Whoa. Put it in your put it in your motherfucking podcast title right now. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Alt zero one five three. Zero yes gives me a heart. That's strange. Put a put a letter in front of it. Okay, let's do. Which letter are you about to snipe up from the entire market? The media can no longer have. Here we go, and oh, uh, whoops! <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. You're you're doing it. All you have to do is is power up, bro. Alt for the one. for the audio only listeners, we're typing on our computer. Yes, yeah, we're typing. Keyboard. No, they're getting shit on this week. I actually, I don't know how much how many people care. I, I figured out what service I'm going to use to host all these, and I've been trying to collect all of the audio tracks because I've been there all over the place from the beginning. And mm-hmm. um, these are terrible podcasts to do audio only. Really? They are awful. <laughs> yes. Uh, but I, I guess I'm going to do it. Why not? I don't think it's free. Yeah. Just chugging along. I love it. We're, so we're just going to keep uh, that. Okay, one more time. Alt. Alt. Zero. One. Five. Three. It's just a heart. That's so strange. Oh. Interesting. Oh, one, five, three. Well. Yeah. TM, TM. One more hmm. time. Alt. Zero. One. Five. Three. Shit. Well. We'll work Did on you that. do it on your number pad or your Next number week. board? No, number row. I do it on the number pad. Okay, see, that's what I do. I wonder I wonder what's up with your computer there. Maybe it's because I'm in OBS. Aha, uh-huh. you're a little slacker. Let's try this out. Premium. Premium. Alt, super 153. Nope. Well, this has been a, a real blast of a podcast. <laughs> See, look at this. This fucking idiot's got it. This fucking he immediately knew how to do it. Low he heard me. from your poor instructions, and he could able. Uh, what he the could hell? That ass. Oh yes. God, I love how we have peaked too. That's we have now have ten people out. watching. 
Oh on yeah, this, bring it on in just here, troubleshooting, fellers. trying to do the TM sign. Yeah, trying to get some of the teams. <laughs> Welcome to the Super Neat Podcast, the only podcast on the internet. Here, I'll just do it this way. This is the way I've always done it. And copy and paste it. Boom. All right, guys, here's the deal. <laughs> I got to get one more AHA to finish this out. Oh, shit. So you're going to have to entertain Thanks, AHA. Them. What's your it. AHA moment? You're going to have to entertain them for a moment. Okay, I'll do this. My AHA moment is when this... I stood up out of bed and I had uh, realized that I had just got done uh, turning over in such a way that would put one of my feet to sleep. And I had the pins and needles already. My AHA moment was placing my full weight on it and crumpling to the floor, crying out for no one, for no one there, no one in the house. My aha moment brought me to my knees and kept me there permanently uh, about three minutes until I was able to get the blood back into the foot and start walking again like a fawn being born first day. Were you just explaining That's my your, your aha moment? moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's your aha moment? Share it in the chat. Put it, super neat put it in chat and super neat com community tab and post where uh, Joe can't see it. Doesn't know where it is. Oh, yeah. I figured out the super neat community tab on Patreon. So thank you guys for whoever has been posting there. Mostly <laughs> whoever it could be. <laughs> <laughs> I figured out how to find them. And so that's a big win for me. Huge. Oh, yep. That's I actually uh, I relate a lot to that one too because he's got one of his aha moment being when he put his nude up on Facebook. That's great. That's a good use for Facebook. Yeah, yeah. I think it's Let, it lets people know who you are. It definitely shows it signals a lot of information about who you are as a person. And it shows your body. Well your yeah, it's it lets just, your body be seen. It's a priority on uh, Facebook. First time they click mute on the Super Neat podcast. Good aha moment. You <laughs> classic. Thanks. Yes. There is no mute on this podcast. Don't you? Yeah, don't it you unmuted it itself. <laughs> Wait, can't. is it an aha moment as a positive thing or is it an aha moment as a negative thing? It depends on how loud you say it. Aha! Uh -huh. If you say aha, uh -huh, that's a good thing, but if you say ah! <laughs> <laughs> aha uh, it's my aha moment was when um, one of my co-workers kept getting in the fridge and uh getting my food i put turbo lax in the, in the in the milkshake once and they had to go to the bathroom for the rest of the evening turbo lax my <laughs> aha moment god who owns the brand for turbo lax that's fucking Tur that's <laughs> bring really me turbo lax turbo lax yeah. <laughs> My aha moment was when I sailed the ocean blue and discovered North America. Aha! Uh, okay. Uh -oh. Okay. And then you gave the natives like yeah, horrible you, diseases. Yeah, and then you eradicated. You enslaved a, a bunch of them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> My uh -oh. aha <laughs> moment. Oh. Big shout out to Christopher Columbus being the number one piece of shit during the yeah. 1492 when did he say all that? Premium. 1642? Uh, it was actually 2007. A lot of people don't oh, really shit. get the dates right. No, yeah, but we've only that. been here. Yeah, we've <laughs> only been here for about 13, 13 years. years. God, it <laughs> feels like it. Woo. Yeah. yeah. We got a lot done, but you know, we also lost a lot. 1492. Is that right? Mm, it could be. It might not be, though, as well. <laughs> let's say let's just type in 1492 into google and see what comes up let's let's figure it out oh there's a whole lot that happened oh shit 1492 is considered to be a significant year in the history of the west europe christianity islam judaism spain the new world among others apparently a lot went down oh my god uh, it com the Reconquista, Reconquista of Spain. Reconquista. Europe's discovery of the New World. Oh, I'm guessing that's our boy. And the expulsion of Jews from Spain. Oof. Oh, right. So Ferdinand and Isabella 
gave the Jews four months to convert to Christianity or leave or they'll fucking kill them. They were fucking all about that life. They knew. They knew what they wanted. Wow, I didn't know that. That's how we got a lot of Jews in North America from like Italian like city states that were just fucking tired of all that bullshit. The oppression. Me, my God, what? Why can't people just leave the Jews alone? Yeah, what's the what's, what's the like steel, magnetism? <laughs> the magnetism <laughs> of like hate towards the Jews. Yeah, it must let always them be. just do their thing. Let them fuck off for a little while. I don't really get it. Yeah, no fucks given. There it is, October twelfth. Christopher Columbus expedition makes landfall in the Caribbean and lands on Guanahani, but he believes he's reached the East Indies because he's not super bright. Oh, December mm-hmm. 5th, Christopher Columbus becomes the first European to set foot on the island of Hispaniola. That's not the one. December 25th, Col- Columbus's ship Santa Maria runs mm-hmm. aground off Cape oh. Haitian and is lost. Oosh. Oh, no. No one told us the Pinta, the Nina, the Santa Maria. Santa Maria. No one told us that it f- fucking sunk. Yeah, they fucked that up. Jesus. Was that like a normal thing? Is that what they had three? Because they were like, we're going to lose one, so. Yeah, one of them's got to go. sure. Yeah. Here's some things that Minus don't have one. exact dates, but happened in that year. Okay. Stiegel Brewing first recorded in Salzburg. Whoa. Pretty cool. Uh, the Ming Dynasty in China, the commercial transportation of grain to the northern border in exchanges for salt certificates is monetized. Wow, I feel like okay. they're doing next level shit. We're sinking boats and I say we I like I represent. Got organized trade. I don't, I'm not associating myself with Columbus. You're not Spanish. I got to backtrack that. Hell no. Yeah, conquistadors are bad, okay? Those guys are not good. Uh... Martin Beheim constructs the first surviving globe of Earth. The Erdiful. Erdiful. The first surviving? So, like, the earliest globe we have is his. That's it. And it doesn't even have the New World yet. Just goes straight from Europe to India. (laughs) Look, this is Earth or whatever. God, yeah, the Erdiful. He was like, check it out. And no, everyone was like, this is it, man. No one. Yeah, could, yo. <laughs> what could they that's say? A lot. They're like, this is wrong. What about all the rest of this? What do you mean? The water? Oh, he's yeah, like, it doesn't matter. No, nah, I made it. I made the globe. Yeah. No, it's finished. They're like, but there's a whole bunch. No, it's finished. <laughs> that's it. That <laughs> we did it. I made it. I'm done now. I made a globe. I'm going to bed. My name's Martin Beheim. If you don't fucking like it, you make your own then. <laughs> let's go down that. Let's see. Let's see a picture of the Earthful. Holy shit! Here, I'll put that on the stream. <laughs> Zoom in, please. Check this out. Enhance. Boom. Oh fuck! So it just stretched the whole. Okay, yeah, I get it. Whoa. <laughs> that's pretty sick. Yeah. Man, that's some premium shit. He was the first. Like, all, you always see like cool, like elegant, you know, expensive luxury homes or whatever. They always have a stupid fucking globe in the office. He was the first, like cheeky fucker to yeah. say, "Yeah, I want to have." Yeah, there's cigars and, and whiskey in there. Yeah, you open it up. Some cocaine. Yes. Mm. That's what he wanted. Oh, a tri- oh yeah. an Ertful. It's an apple. Earth er- apple. Ertful. Er- Ertful. Earth apple. I have created the Earth apple. Earth. Wow. Welcome to Earth. Damn, oh, dog. Yeah. See, they it, that shows the weird. Like, don't don't take this at face value, guys. It's flat. That second picture over there shows what it really is like. That's what Earth it's looks like in space. It's all stretched out and shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like a little tentacle. <laughs> Check this out. The mythical St. Brendan's Island is included on the map. And Japan is oversized. And it has also enormous phantom peninsula east of the the Golden Cherzenes, a.k.a. Malaysia. So they took it at face value. He's really winging it. Yeah, he was like, you said that there's land over here. 
All right, I'll just put that in there. He was like, been there. <laughs> if you told me that you've been there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust you. He's like, are you this sure? This is what the Earth's. <laughs> this is like, what Earth will be like. Was it this big or this big? Yeah, I think it was like this. It take it takes a whole day. Takes a whole day. He's like, all right, it's about two inches. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> done. Earth. It's this, done, y'all. This is my Earth apple. Yes. And Here, y'all. Like, I finished it. Great work. Golf clap. This is how. Yeah, and then like, the it. other thing is like, how did this help anyone? Who was like looking at this right. and like traveling, you know? They're like, where the hell is my earth apple? You have revolutionized the way that I travel, bro. Like, thank you. There's some guy. I on don't a walk fucking... in a straight line anymore now. <laughs> on a pirate ship with his earth apple. He's like, where the fuck are we? Where, where are I don't see any of this shit. Did this guy know what he was doing or did he make most of this up from stories from his friends? I've been looking for this fucking island, St. Brendan's Island. Which I've never it doesn't heard of. exist, bro. This is mythical. It's a phantom island or a mythical island, supposedly situated in North America, North Atlantic, sorry, somewhere. Uh, so it could be. You're saying there's a chance. It, it appeared on numerous maps in Christopher Columbus's time. Atlantis. And basically. St. Brendan, who he landed, he claimed to land on it. With 14 monks, and they celebrated mass there. Okay. And the monks all sort of vow silence, and then he couldn't get the true confirmation that they were there. They stayed for 15 days, and they, while the ships expected their return, they complained that they had to wait a year during which the island remained concealed behind a thick curtain of mist. Because oh my god they definitely got lost and didn't remember where it was that because it's, it's the avalon real. islands what's the avalon that's islands? insane i have no idea but this makes me think that atlantis is just you know one stone's throw away like we can definitely figure out where the sea people are someone's gonna just run into it one day when the fog when the mist yeah. blanket, no, what they called it. What it'll be is like well, someone will be out there investigating or whatever, and they're like totally skeptical of it or whatever. And then the full moon's light shines on it, and it appears, and like, damn it, bro, like fucking magic is real, and we just fucking we just got dumped in it. <laughs> We've been living our lives according to science the whole time, and it's always been sorcery. Dude, sorcery always wins. Every time, one chance. one chance. Modern, modern life as we know it will collapse again, as it always does. Yes, and then everybody will have to start making potions and shit. <laughs> Atlantis. Damn, we might have to do a yes. whole episode on Atlantis. Look at this. Oh man, Holy it's shit. fake. Who's? How do people know this? We don't is even know where Santorini? it is. is bullshit. Yeah, where? Sh show me on the map. <laughs> the show from? me on the Earth Doppel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, find this on the Earth Apple, motherfuckers. Where the hell is it? Show me. Point to it right now. Look at all Everything these sources. That oh no! Holy shit! We gotta read a book now. Whoa! Is it Santorini? In 2004, a Swedish scientist, who we know are real, er, er, Ulf Erlingsson, <laughs> proposed that the legend of Atlantis was based on Stone Age Ireland. He later said okay. that he does not believe Atlantis ever existed, but maintained this hypothesis. And his description matches Ireland's geography and has a 99.8% probability. Whoa. That means that my people are from Atlantis. You're Atlantean. Can you Have you ever communed with any kind of, like, guild animal or any, like, fish? I, I used to eat a fair amount of tilapia. Okay, I think that's probably proof. <laughs> we can probably edit that in. Can you edit that article? Yeah, I gave Super them $5 One, two, three, like four, six five. years ago. Can I, am I, I deserve it. Where's my pencil? I earned this. Let me get in there. Whoa, there's all kinds of stuff. Oh my, I clicked oh the my God. And shit. Look at that. I don't know what's happening. Holy Shout fuck. out to Wikipedia, man. Holy shit. Yeah, doing it right since 01. Is that really? I don't know. <laughs> Last it, question. It could be. We we went way we 
we've we've <laughs> we've just been creating. We've been stirring the fucking pot. That's what we've been doing. January fifteenth, oh one. I'm a fucking genius, bitch. You got it. You Come win. on me right now. You I mean, win. uh, don't you're. That's what big cum wants. I yeah, think. Big Come wants you to have to come. <laughs> we get to choose. I get my freedom back. Combust and all. I get my... I, I'm writing that down. I want my freedom what will back. The, I want my freedom back. What will the sign say? Uh, it'll be the three, person, two, the one. CEO. We won't come. Yes. It'll be like the person's name that's like funding the lobbyists or whatever. Like Brian... Uh, Edward Cumberland. O'Shaughnahan is a bum. We will not come. We will. <laughs> I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> uh, we're going to end it with that. Premium. It's been a pleasure, dude. I was, dude. uh,. I was so proud to be able to. For two years, I thought it was normal for a ten-year-old to wear the first recurring gas. Now I'm the number ten anniversary. We tried everything. Biggest, strongest of all comers. I'm not afraid anymore. Dude, thank you. I played. I just played. I'm not afraid anymore. I forgot. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not sharing my screen with you. I do. I fucked the whole system up. It's it's still precious. Thanks for thanks for being on here. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I can uh, I can never get enough of it. It's so great. We made we've done a lot. A lot mm -hmm. happened in this podcast. Believe it or not, we kind of zoomed on that shit. We went hard, and so I have two. I have one and a half pages of notes. I, oh my god! Mostly... I have pre I have pages out of that actual legal pad, so I know how much it would take to fill them. Wow. Big time. Um, so, and then also these are my, this is what the other notes look like. So we're doing, we're ahead of schedule. Fuck yeah. Gump 2020. Yeah. What the fuck does that mean? Look at that. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot to do. Uh, and next week we'll see how everything went. Cause I got to release some content. Yeah. Yeah. Make some stuff. Oh yeah. I totally forgot. That's like one of the most like premium things on your Patreon is like that you make shit ass content. Like that's like your kind of your forte. That's my thing. And uh, we haven't had a whole lot of shit. It, you know, not a lot of content other than the podcast, which is, you know, premium. The podcast, yeah. The podcast has been limping it along, but I think uh, we can no longer. You need to edit Super VOD, boob. Big, big, huge moves right there. Super VOD. Yeah. Yeah, get all your most premium moments out of all your 10. Oh, man, no. First 10p. <laughs> so when I started cutting the audio out of these to, to put on the internet, I started to go through them to try and do that, and each one it's of impossible. these is a train wreck. It's to go There's not a clip in any of them. 10 Holy hours. Shiz. Nightmare fuel. We'll see. Holy shiz. Uh, that's it. Guys, we did it. We did a... Uh, nope. It's 807, 71 degrees, 48 percent room humidity. The Super Neat Podcast, the only podcast on the internet. Shout out to Hulkbuster Unit 69. Yeah, yeah. You guys follow him on Twitch. He's got a solid ass fucking Twitch. TTV forward slash Hulkbuster Unit 69. That's it, man. We did it. We need a podcast. Big time. This is this podcast is the single best thing about my life right now. <laughs> yes, the bitch. We're the fucking most focused. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. We're doing it for the people. All right. We're going to play out. And play then... that motherfucking outro music, bro. That shit's funky as hell. We're playing the... Oh, we have the second outro song. I have two songs, really. Really? Oh, wait. I have a new one. You remember? I have a frag video one. You want to hear that? <gasps> Do whatever your heart tells you. Funky as shit. Really, it's great. Hey, hey, hey. I got that right on the drop. I don't know how I managed that.